I mean, uh, make uh, as of now also from our personal experience, we have actually seen that the people working is as of now better than mechanization when it comes to pesticides and weedicides and things like that. Mm. The people doing, we find it more effective than mechanization mm. as of now. Mm. Maybe we we got a long way to go before the other thing is actually really. I economic. think they use uh, helicopters and. They use yes. drones. They yeah. use drones, drones for it. Here Drone also? is theoretically okay, hmm. but uh, the thing is that there is a concentration of the pesticide and weedicide that needs to actually go on top of the plant, hmm. so that it is effective. Hmm. Now, for the drone to fly, the parts per million concentration is actually very less mm. when compared to what actually we need to put on mm. this one so yeah one drone can and then there are the factors like uh, the drone will fly only when it is not raining mm. so if the rain comes the drone does not fly mm. and if a drone comes down over here then there is always a factor of like uh, the battery gets over mm. so in between it uh, stops and then the next recharge of the battery takes a few hours actually so that that time the work is stopped so there are other uh, drones like uh, drones that run on petrol mm. which can carry more load but if you have noticed when uh, we do the pesticides uh, i mean all those sort of medicine application on when the this harvest is actually a little more when this thing is actually a little more smaller Mm. And the fan speed actually makes a big difference mm. of the drone, you know. These things, if it's like on a big fan, uh, I mean, the wind is too much, then the uh, this thing will actually go ulta into the land. So, it's still, I mean, we have tried it all and uh, there are pra practical difficulties as of now. May but maybe it will actually work out uh, newer technologies and uh, upgraded versions of the drones, then maybe it is actually... Mm. But as of now, we do not find it a, a way too convenient or anything of that sort. Maybe we might get like, a, for one acre, the drone will charge a particular amount. The person charges 200 uh, rupees more than that. But the thing is that for the person, he doesn't care about the rain or wind or anything of that sort. There is no recharge or anything of that sort. Mm. We, we, and one drone, one acre. But if we can actually put 100 people in that one acre, we will do 100 acres mm. and the drone will do only one acre. Mm. And there aren't any companies down over here which can supply 100 drones. And um, I have seen in US like a plane which has a wing full of these uh, yeah, pots and they just fly over those fields and they put them. There, there are things like that yeah. also. It's not drones. They yeah, use yeah, the low the, line the helicopter. There are yeah, certain planes. places which use helicopter also. Helicopter will not work. No, this here. is a plane which has a wing, which has these droplets that comes out and it goes like zoom. It goes and I've seen it on TV. Yeah, we've seen it on TV also, but uh, it is not done over here. I do not know why. Maybe because there is no landing strip. Maybe it's because it's all in the water. Maybe it is too expensive, comparatively, yeah, the fuel charges it. and the, the charges. No, the you price. just have to get the machine. Machine charge may be more. No, the plane is there, right? Yeah. The plane is there, the fuel is there. Maybe there's not enough land for it to actually turn out to be too economical. Pilot. Yeah, in America, we are talking about thousands, over thousands of acres. Yeah, they um, have one person, the farmer, doing maintaining all this. One farm will have how many acres? So he has this plane and tractors and all that. Just one person or a family of father and son does it, the whole thing. Ah, anyway, that happens with the US. Yeah. Yeah, everywhere they've got their own constraints. Okay. Maybe that's the reason.